Marines learned principles of underwater evacuation during a helicopter dunker exercise aboard Camp Pendleton, November 4th. More than 20 Marines with 2nd Battalion, 5th Marine Regiment, conducted the training as preparation for their deployment with the 31st Marine Expeditionary Unit in Okinawa, Japan. They put their survival skills to the test when instructors put them inside of a modular amphibious egress trainer and completely submerged them underwater. The Marines trained to escape from a helicopter that is flipped upside down at sea and learn to use reference points to quickly find an exit. You learn that no matter how confident you are in the water, it does take a technique. Uh, you know, I came from a recon background. I was, you know, pretty much drown proof when I got here, but I first tried to get out that exit, uh, it wasn't working for me. So, uh, yeah, the, the techniques we teach here, they work. We don't just make these things up as you get here. The Marines went through the dunker several times, increasing the amount of equipment worn as they progressed. From the initial dunk, the gear increased to include a rifle, flak jacket, blacked out goggles, and an emergency breathing device, which allowed them to develop survival skills that could save their lives. Before doing this, uh, if you had asked me, is it possible to survive an egress from a helicopter that crashed in the ocean, I would have said you're out of your mind. But after doing this, uh, this training, um, although I'm sure it's still a lot more difficult in a real life scenario, I have a lot more confidence uh, manipulating the gear, finding reference points and uh, finding an egress point on that aircraft that I can get myself out of uh, if it goes in the water. With the training, the Marines can effectively operate as an amphibious task force and safely conduct hellebore ship-to-shore movements. Reporting from Camp Pendleton, California, I'm Lance Corporal Christopher Moore.